Hi, and welcome back to... Uh, not welcome back, this is completely different. Today I'm gonna be doing a iceberg of the dumbest slash most dangerous challenges that has ever been on TikTok. If you do not know what an iceberg is, an iceberg is uh, the very peak of the iceberg. It's like, oh yeah, this is nice and this is okay. And then throughout this video, it gets uh, even dumber slash uh, more dangerous. And normally my videos is, are, well, definitely I would say, uh, quite humorous but obviously this time because sometimes uh, people actually end up dying not gonna be making jokes during those sections but if it's just a fun challenge i'm just here to hang out okay i think that's all you kind of need to know so yeah without further ado uh, let's just jump right into the fucking stupid ass challenges we start very peaceful well peacefulish and then we just uh, continue moving downwards. Downwards the spiral. Here we go again. Woohoo! The first challenge is called the Devious Lick Challenge. The Devious Lick is an American challenge. It can also be uh, put in here in Europe, but it's mainly in America. And what the challenge was, was basically a bunch of teenagers going to school. And then usually they would go in and do vandalism on the uh, high school slash middle school bathroom not too bad but it did end up with a few people getting arrested and there's also been accounts of people calling it a devious slick going in and uh, like calling in and saying there's a bomb which is not too bad but still pretty stupid and don't do that and especially in america when a lot of the stuff uh, already is missing funds it seems kind of counterintuitive to like destroy the school even more but yeah bright eye challenge bright eye challenge was a challenge that gave you the idea that you will be able to change the color of your eyes to a lighter color. Now, how would you do that, you might ask yourself? Well, it's actually quite simple. You get a Ziploc bag, and in that Ziploc bag, you put in jelly, hand sanitizer, bleach, and shaving cream. After you put that in your little Ziploc bag, you give it a good old shake, and then you put it up to your eye and uh, that will make you have a lighter color eye. Obviously, that does not work, and uh, people just do some movie magic, and then they would have a lighter color eye. Like, they would go like this, and then they would be, like, yesified or some shit like that. Which, again, no real reports of anything doing that bad, but general thought is, like, maybe not a good idea to put bleach super close to your eye. And TikTok is predominantly children also, so. Throw it in the air challenge. Yeah, you never guess it. You, you'd never guess it, even though I, I know I have to say it, but you probably never guess what it is. Three to six people would stand in a little circle, and then uh, they would be looking down like this at the phone that was like filming upwards. And then they would throw something up in the air, and then they have to continue looking down the camera, and then it'll probably hit someone in the head. Which is in itself not too bad, but people have evolved it, and I think the last one I saw was people throwing up letters and shit like that, which obviously is quite dangerous. Like, I might be a little bit biased. I do fucking love, like, a good old stupid video. So, uh, it gets a whatever score from my part. Pink Sauce. Do I even really have to say anything here? Pink Sauce was a woman that made her own Pink Sauce. I'm not going to go too deep into this because there's many, many videos out there that are already explaining what Pink Sauce is. So I'll just do this very quickly. A woman started making her own business, making this sauce that is pink, which is very appetizing. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Obviously, it's a sauce, so it had dairy in it. She would post it out of her own kitchen. And then when people got the sauce, it would be rotten. So... Yeah, but now it's actually getting sold in uh, multiple stores uh, worldwide. Well, not worldwide, America wide, I guess. Uh, so I guess she made it. Good for her. And that's actually all of tier one. Pretty nice and easy. Tier two, DIY vampire fangs. Have you ever thought you wanted to look like a cool vampire and have that really cool Astorian-esque vibe to you? Well, not to worry. Those stupid ass little party city fangs you can get. They don't last long enough. So what people do is that they would put a uh, gorilla glue and then stick it in their mouth with their permanent teeth. I don't know what else to tell you. Don't put glue on your teeth. Sounds pretty normal. So there's been many cases where people would do that and then they would obviously the tooth would get stuck because it's literally called gorilla glue and it's supposed to stay there forever, right? So uh, it would get stuck and then people would be able to get uh, like remove it and therefore they had to go to the hospital and probably also lose some teeth. Great job. Frozen honey challenge. Frozen honey challenge is also pretty self-explanatory. 
it is where you take a bunch of honey and put it in a plastic bottle and then you freeze it and because of the substance it doesn't really get frozen like a normal like you know there's two types of frozen there's like the normal frozen where it's just like ice cold and then there's like pepsi in your freezer and then it explodes everywhere there's liquid gas solid plasma and i guess frozen honey which is like kind of jelly like and uh people take a big old bite out of it which is, um, again, not too bad, but uh, not very healthy because honey is basically just sugar. Spicy food challenge. Spicy food challenge is always something that I've had a lot of love for, mainly because that I love seeing people that can't handle spicy food, eating a lot of spicy food, because uh, the big problem is that a lot of people out there think they can handle way more spicier food than they actually can. Uh, I couldn't handle spicy food until I got a girlfriend from country where they eat a lot of spicy food and then I kind of had to adapt, I had to evolve, I had to be better and therefore I can handle pretty spicy food now but if I would have done this shit like six years ago when I hadn't met my beautiful girlfriend I would also uh, be having a real hard time. I will say though I fucking, even though that is super dumb and you should not be eating food that you can't like tolerate I do have a love for that one fucking video with those two women influencers. It, they have like small crop tops on and the one is blonde and one is brunette. And then they're eating, I think it's a Carolina Reaper or a ghost pepper or something like that. And that shit is so fucking funny because they take one bite and they're all like, ooh, it's going to be so fun. Ooh, I'm excited. And then it just hard cuts into them having like full blown panic attacks and going to the hospital. So uh, very funny for me. But uh, if you can't handle it, then you probably shouldn't do it. Corn drill challenge. Have you ever seen those cartoons where they eat corn like fucking drrrr? Yeah, that's that's it. People would put a drill inside a corn and then they would try to eat it. And obviously high power tools shouldn't be close to your mouth and going at extremely fast speeds, you can lose a tooth. And multiple people did lose teeth. Uh, yeah, but Jason Derulo did it, so that's cool. The back crack challenge. To do the backcrack slash the backpack challenge, you need to kneel down with your hands over your head. Then the other person needs to go behind you and put their hands inside of, like not inside, but like inside the holes that you made with your hands. And then they'll pick you up and that will uh, make your back crack all the way through. I used to do this uh, all the time when I was younger because it was really funny and I love cracking everything. I really do enjoy that. Not too bad. But uh, chiropractors say that it's actually pretty dangerous because blah, blah, blah. Even with their fake fucking education that doesn't do anything. Uh, chiropractors feel like they have a say in this whole debacle. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, then ask a physiotherapist. Do not ask a chiropractor because a lot of chiropractors are literally just scams. Side tangent. Uh, kick the door challenge. You guessed it. You kick a door real hard. That's it. You know that old game you played as a child where you would like knock on the door and then fucking go run and then peek around a little corner and see if they uh, they open the door and then there's no one there oh yeah but kick the doors that but just uh harder and can damage property because adults also did it this silly little boy prank they also did the kick the door challenge and uh you never guessed it they uh, broke the paper thin door that they have in america pee your pants challenge this shit is the funniest fucking shit i've heard in my entire life pee your pants pants challenge is made by a comedian where it's literally just a dude standing like, I'll, I'll show you. It's a dude standing like this. And then he pisses his pants. And then he just wrote, piss your pants uh, challenge. People didn't realize that it was a joke. The whole meme was like, oh, it's actually impossible for you to pee your own pants as an adult. Which it obviously is not. You just need to kind of let the streams go through you not that i have any experience in it or anything like that but i'm pretty sure it would be possible kind of like a lot of men have a problem with like going to the stall uh, like the urinals because they're like oh what if the other guys uh, and then they get like anxiety and like then they can't pee you just need to get over that barrier and then you can pee your pants but even the guy that made it was fucking baffled that other people did this challenge because it's not a challenge it's just a stupid skit and then people started doing it pretty funny good prank Face wax challenge. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. It is putting a big ass layer of hot wax on your entire face, ears, nose, inside the nose, inside the mouth, maybe even, and everything, right? Just covering yourself up in hot wax and then peeling everything off. Waxing is not bad in itself, but when you do it with that amount of wax and also put it inside your, your nose and your ears, it can damage like nerve endings and it can damage blood vessels and stuff like that. It's not anything you'll die off, but just uh, it'll hurt a lot. Kind of like just waxing in itself. And then try to wax on the most sensitive 
area in your entire body. Maybe the second most sensitive area in your entire body. Actually, I think the third. I think the, the most sensitive is the hands. Never mind. But uh, yeah, try to do that. Teeth shaving cream. Teeth shaving is a... How do I even fucking say them? What? Okay, teeth shaving is... God, okay, now we're getting into it. Teeth shaving challenge is basically grinding down your teeth so you have those, uh, like, you take your teeth, right? And then you grind it down so you have those small little pecs, like the small little weird looking teeth that you have before you get veneers we don't ha really do veneers here where i'm from but in america i know it's pretty popular so people would uh, do the uh, shaving of the teeth so they wouldn't have to pay for getting your teeth shaven before getting veneers probably you don't do anything like that with your own body when you're not trained in them but i don't know maybe it's fucking i don't know maybe it's easier and more cheap Orbeez challenge. Orbeez is a type of like fun kit gun. Not a fun kit with gun, but a, a, it's like a Nerf gun, but it shoots these like small balls. And the challenge was to drive around in your neighborhood and then uh, like shoot at random people with this gun. And it obviously it doesn't hurt, but as a European, you probably would be able to do it and get away with it. You'll probably get a reprimand from the police, but you'll probably be able to do it and be a okay. Not in America. And in America, it actually went so far that an 18-year-old guy went out and he did it. And he started shooting at people with this toy gun. And he unfortunately uh, was in a state where danger ground was active. And therefore, they thought that they were getting shot at. And therefore, they responded with uh, shooting live ammunition at him. And he unfortunately lost his life. Uh, and therefore, Orbeez guns have actually also been banned in uh, New York State. Gorilla Glue Challenge. Gorilla Glue Challenge became popular when a TikToker used Gorilla Glue instead of uh, normal hair wax for her entire head and she had to go to the ER. But she, it looked really nice and the way it was like really tucked nicely back and everything. And it resulted in like a sort of like hair helmet type thing. But obviously, since we talked about glue before, here i don't know what i'm saying with like oh yeah this is the big glue fucking channel therefore she obviously couldn't remove it and had to go to the er and get it removed she's okay though though len martin a mythbuster he decided that this can definitely not be that difficult to remove so he tried to glue a red solo cup to his lips to disprove that it's not that difficult to uh remove because he wanted to prove that he could like just lick off the glue and it literally can't be that bad. You never guess what happened. You couldn't do that. And the glue won again, obviously. And he also had to go to the ER. So if I had a nickel for every time that this has happened, that people have put Gorilla Glue in their face to prove that it's really not that bad, I would have two nickels, which is not that much, but it's weird that it happened twice. Best of all, beer challenge. Super weird kind of weird stuff that it's actually even a challenge but it's basically you have a basketball and then you put a beer can on it and then you drop the basketball and then because of friction i think physics because of something physics it goes down and then the the energy goes back up into the beer can and it'll jump up and then you're supposed to catch it and do a shotgun the only problem is that a ball is round and the can is round ish cylinder ish and it's difficult to kind of map out where it's gonna go up so sometimes people would drop it and then it would go up and then it would catch it or sometimes it would just hit them in the face or other times it would hit them in the nuts and um, hurt a lot so again not that bad but uh, not that good either it's it's not cool enough it's one of those things where it's not cool enough to be an actual challenge but it's also not crazy enough that it shouldn't be there right it's like why why even do it jack has always had this thing where they're like it needs to be funny and cool enough and dangerous enough but there is like it, it if it's just dangerous it's not good enough it has to be cool and dangerous or cool and funny or fu funny and cool it can't just be one of them this one is just kind of like dangerous ish whatever jeffrey dahmer challenge after the show aired it became really kind of i don't want to say sexy but it got kind of like cool to like recreate like i'm a twisted fucking psychopath and all that stuff so what basically people did was that they wanted to prove that they jeffrey dahmer if you didn't know was a serial killer back in the 90s i think and he took a lot of pictures of his victims and the challenge was basically film your reaction while looking at these pictures these pictures are obviously extremely grim and you should not look at it uh, just out of respect and also just it's not that fun to look at but a lot of people are very easy persuadable and therefore they looked at it 
and now we have the Jeffrey Dahmer challenge. It kind of reminds me a bit of the Pain Olympics. Dipping challenge. <laughs> Dipping challenge, uh, I had a friend that did this. The meme is that apparently you have taste buds in your nuts and if you dip your crown jewels, your boys, into soya sauce, you'd be able to taste the soya sauce or at least the salt into like as your taste buds. Just kind of weird. I had a friend that did it. He said he could taste it. I didn't do it because I didn't want to dip my balls in soya sauce. That just sounds kind of annoying. It just feels like th this is just mildly annoying and slimy. I don't know. Not that bad. Just kind of stupid. Pretty good fucking meme though. Rubbing under tongue challenge. I think this is on this tube just because it's kind of like the innuendos of it. A rub under your tongue challenge is that this part under your tongue, it supposedly has the same texture and the same skin as the glands of a, of a phallus. And uh, I guess that the homophobic people did not like this. So yeah, whatever. Period blood face mask challenge. Pretty self-explanatory. You get your period and then you take that and then you put it on your face because apparently it has a lot of vitamins in it and it's really good for your skin. I don't know if it is. I'm not that big of a skincare. I'm sorry you won't get my skincare routine. But uh, yeah, people did that. I think people have actually done that for quite a while because I also heard in my country that people have done it even before TikTok made a challenge out of it. And there's also even people that eat their placentas after they've made like did birth and shit like that. So I don't think it's like that crazy. I think a lot of people have done it. But again, I don't know. I'm just a fucking dude. You know, I'm literally just a guy. Teeth whitening challenge. Using baking soda to whiten your teeth. Even though it's not that harmful, it can corrode your teeth. That's it. Dancing on graves challenge. Young people would go out and film themselves in graveyards and dancing on random people's graves to show how cool and emo they were and or are and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, real piece of shit behavior. Cool. DIY lip filler challenge. Uh, you also called the Kylie Jenner challenge. You take a cup, a little shot glass, and then you suck on it. And then afterwards, you have big ass lips. Again, not that bad, but just kind of stupid. And it can hurt a lot, apparently. And it can even uh, lead to nerve damage if you want to be like boring or something like that. How far can you dig challenge? Bunch of boys out on the beach, have a good time. Let's go digging. The only bad thing that has happened out of this challenge was that someone did it in Arizona, I think. Yeah, in Arizona. And uh, a person, the, the people did not fill the hole back up again. And therefore, the person, uh, no, another person uh, didn't see the big ass hole in the ground and fell down in it. And uh, he definitely hurt himself. So, uh, not that bad. Just fill up your holes, boys. Remember to do that next time you do a fucking Facebook event and go out and dig holes in the beach. Uh, the poop challenge. You go to a stall and then you say that there isn't any more. You go to a stall where another person is sitting and you sit down in your stall and the other person is in another stall. And then you say, oh, sorry, man, I don't have any more toilet paper in here. Can you please give me some toilet paper? And then when the person gives you toilet paper, you put some Nutella on his hand. So he thinks that you put poop on his hand. Silly prank. I'll probably get real fucking mad if that happened to me, though. The luck now challenge is one of those challenges where I think it's literally just an online lie. Because uh, the challenge is literally go into a car and then remove the lug nuts from the wheel. And then when they drive, the wheel will fall off, right? Which is obviously incredibly fucking dangerous and fucking psycho behavior if you actually did that. So therefore, I'm taking this with an extremely uh, big grain of salt. Because I don't think anyone has actually done that. But people have faked that they have done it. And then, oh my god, it was so crazy. It was so scary out driving, right? Yeah, I don't think anyone has actually done it. Scary. Hi, Editor Burke here. You can see I'm not the real Fisberg because I have a different type of clothes on, uh, even though it's also just assorted black stuff. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you had a good time, then uh, please do like and subscribe. It really does help out a lot. And if you also want to get a notification on the next video that comes out, which is uh, gonna be part two of this video because I don't really like videos that are like an hour long. I think the whole point of a video is that it's like short and sweet, um, but that's a uh, uh, another story for another time on that i hope you have a great day and uh, i'd like to see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye